Hello, welcome, and we're back. And now I'm actually using the MacBook Pro with the 8 core CPU, 14 core GPU, and we're testing as of now, as you can see, right? 14 inch 2021. Da, 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 da. Uh, right now, I am testing the Unreal Engine 4 27.2, currently compiling shaders, and as we can see, we are roughly using five cores on full blast if I am adding up my shader compile worker percentage correctly but that's the boring part so I'm almost done with the shader compilation and hopefully it will run smoothly after this shader compiles is done so <laughs> I'll see you I'll see you in a bit I'll pause the video right okay so with the initial batch of shaders compiled we're now compiling more shaders um, as you can see again roughly uh, we have one two one two three four workers plus unreal editor adds up to about four to five hundred percent again which means basically with that we are using uh, five full cores to compile the shaders and i will be opening the content examples as per usual as per previous videos and let's see how that goes but I will just open the project and then I will let the shaders compile fully because otherwise it will be kind of slow again I'll pause the video right here because this is like very 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 not exciting so see you in a bit all right we're finally within the project and as you can see it took about 10 maybe 11 minutes to compile the shaders which is definitely not not that bad and yes i disabled the real-time viewport so it kind of works faster and um, as we can immediately see uh, pre as previous things we mentioned everything works just fine we can see the ssr okay let's see uh, frames per second whoa whoops um and yeah we are getting about 100 frames per second maybe like 65 frames per second which is definitely not bad but again this is just the full hd i mean uh, half of the resolution of the 4k screen that i'm currently running it uh, but yeah pretty good so far now the moments of truth let's see if the niagara systems work yeah, let me see I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit lost okay so double click niagara Chances are there will be more shader compiled right now. Okay, loading. And yep, just 300 shaders, not too, not too bad. This will work just fine. And um, while we are compiling shaders, the FPS usually drops um, a lot because simple fact is that we are using a lot of a lot of CPU time just to compile the shaders. And by the way, uh, before you ask, yes, the shader compile goes through the insole. So it's not native, it's, you know, it's slow, it's inefficient, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, regardless, things seem to be working just fine. As you can see, the noise-based uh, GPU emitter, other beautiful things, right? So, um, everything works fine, but it worked previously fine as well. The problematic one was the Niagara Advanced. And before I launch that one, I will stop the recording so we do not uh, lose our progress. And then I will run record again and try to run the Niagara Advanced. Okay, quick updates. Uh, the first time that I have been recording this video, it went well. So the Unreal Engine 4 27.2 loaded up the Niagara Advance just fine. The second time, it hard crashed my laptop. I had to reboot it using the, you know, press and hold down the power button and then reboot it again. The third time, as you can see, it's unresponsive. I'm currently pressing buttons like a madman and nothing works. So yeah it's it's not good it's not good still so frustrating but true uh, actually before i um before i sign off i just wanted to say i think that this 
particular um, implementation of how, Ni how Niagara I is working, I think it's problematic at its core uh, because it seems like uh, in 427 Niagara is, a, is an add-on and in 5.0 Niagara seems to be more interconnected with the engine itself. I might be not like particularly accurate in this description, but it seems like the very way how Niagara interacts with Unreal Engine 4 does not mesh well with the Apple Silicon M1 Pro or M1 just or whichever. So there you go, just keep that in mind. And yeah, sadly, it's a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. So see you in the next video. And yeah, we'll test the Unreal Engine 5. Goodbye.